Once again today, I welcome every learner on this platform. Today we shall be discussing about agricultural ecology. At the end of this lesson, the learners should be able to define agricultural ecology and ecosystem. State the components of farm ecosystem. Discuss how farm crops or animals interact with other organisms and non-living things under different settings. What is ecosystem? An ecological system is composed of both the living and non-living parts of the environment. It also refers to a community of plants and animals functioning together with their non-living environment. Definition of agricultural ecology. Agricultural ecology is a field of study which deals with the relationship of living organisms with one another and with the environment in which they live. Agricultural ecology is divided into two branches, autoecology, this is the study of an individual organism or a single species of organism and its environment, for example, the study of a single cattle and its environment, synecology. This is a study of the interrelationship between groups of living organisms or species of organisms living together in an area. For example, the study of different fishes in a fish pond in relation to their aquatic environment. Components of ecosystem. Basically, the components of ecosystem are divided into two, the biotic component and the abiotic component. Let's just see. The farm ecosystem is made of two main components. These are the biotic component or living component. These include the living things, plants and animals, which can be grouped into producers, consumers and decomposers. The abiotic component, the non-living component. These include climatic factors, inorganic materials and nutrients, edaphic factors and other factors. Biotic components include living things, crops and animals. The biotic components can be grouped into three classes. These are These are heterotropism, autotrophism, and decomposers. Autotrophism. This is a group of organisms which can be, which can use sunlight or chemicals to manufacture their food from inorganic substances during the process of photosynthesis. Or chemosynthesis. Autotrophs are organisms, mainly crops, plants, or green plants, and some microorganisms which are capable of synthesizing their own food, hence, they are called producers. Heterotrophism. This group of organisms are mainly farm animals which cannot manufacture their own food but depend directly or indirectly on plants for their food. Hence, they are called consumers. Farm animals that feed directly on green plants, that is the producers, are called herbivores or primary consumers. Example of such, we have the cattle, sheep, goats and rabbits. While animals that feed on primary consumers are called carnivores or 
secondary consumers. Animals that feed on secondary consumers are called the tertiary consumers. Decomposers. Decomposers are bacteria and some fungi which break down dead plants and animals in order to feed on them. And in the process, nutrients are released to the soil for use by the producers. Abiotic components. We have climatic factors like temperature, wind, humidity, sunlight, and rainfall. Edaphic factors like soil pH, soil texture, soil type, soil structure, topography, rocks, and many more. Inorganic materials and nutrients such as carbon-4, oxide, nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, and many more. Other factors like dust, storm, fire, and water are also considered as abiotic components of the ecosystem. Some interactions among the components of agro-ecosystem in some farm settings. In cropping systems. Crop plants absorb nutrients from the soil to grow. Crop plants absorb water to grow and produce fruits. Crop residues decay and with the aid of soil microorganisms release nutrients to the soil. Some organisms in the soil like earthworms, rodents also aid water percolation. Crop plant like cowpea is capable of adding nutrients to the soil. The leaves of all crops which fall on the ground decay and add nutrients to the soil through decomposition by soil organisms. Oxygen is also released to the atmosphere by crop plants through photosynthesis. A mixed farming system. The grasses or remains of crops serve as feed to animals. The animal dungs and droppings are used as organic manure to improve the soil fertility for the crops. Both animals and crops release releases carbon dioxide to the atmosphere during respiration, and this will help in what in photosynthesis. In fish ponds, fishes feed on plankton in the water as their source of food. The depth of fishes serve as manure for the microscopic plants, that is the plankton in water. Both plankton and fishes release carbon dioxide to the aquatic habitat, which aids photosynthesis of the plankton. Plactons in the water make use of carbon dioxide and water to make their food and releases oxygen to the environment which aids respiration in water. Revision questions. Number 1A. What is agricultural ecology? Number 1B. Explain the division of ecology. Number 2A. Define ecosystem. Number 2B, name four biotic factors and four abiotic factors in a farm ecosystem. Number 3, briefly discuss the general interaction among the components of an ecosystem. If you find it difficult to go through these revision questions, go over the video again. And I have this confidence that you get it right. Thank you for being on this platform.